Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get the perfect freighter for your save. If you're looking for an awesome freighter, this is the video for you. So, the old school rules apply. You need to play for at least three hours in game, not just, you know, play and then stop and wait for three hours. You have to be playing the game for three hours and you have to warp up to five times. That that time is a little bit, the warp amount is a little bit iffy right now, but oh my God, look at this. Look at this. Oh, uh, why are you interrupting me? I want you, but I can't do it right now. I'm doing freighters, not exotics. God, you're killing me. Anyway, play for three hours, warp five times. And what I would recommend for you to do is once you've gotten around that three hour time limit, every time you warp, make sure to go into the, the uh, space station, get in and out of your ship, because when you get in and out, it makes an auto save for you. If you want to be really, really careful, you can land on a planet and make a manual save. So if you're really, really hesitant, make a manual save as well. Put down one of your uh, save beacons and just make a manual save on top of your auto save. I am playing on permadeath. We only get one save slot. If you're on normal mode, you get two, you get a manual, and you get an auto save. On permadeath, you only get one, so you're kind of locked in. But don't you worry, don't fret, don't worry about it. If you find that freighter you really want, and then you land on it to see what's going on, it will not make an auto save on the freighter. So I will show you that when we get there. But once you've done the three hours of play time and you warped five times, your next warp will always be a freighter battle. Always, every single time as long as you go to a system with a race in it. Like this one does not have a race at all in it. So if I go to this one, it will not have a freighter in it. But you wanna look for one that has a race. Like you see that one, it, we have a Gek race. It's a pirate system right there. This one, it's a Viking, it's a Viking uh, race. Oh, come on, get in there. Corvax right there. You're looking for a race. You don't wanna go to a system, and usually those will be the colored systems like the red, the green, the blue. You go to one of those stars, you might not run into a race, and there, therefore, there will not be a freighter there. Let's just go to a random one. This is a pirate Corvax system. Let's go see what freighter shows up here. The other thing that's really, really cool about this is the freighters who are always going to spawn the same design in the system. It will just change the class. So, oh, look at this one. Okay, this is the freighter in this system. So let me show you what this one looks like. You go into it, you warp in, we're in the middle of a battle, and you're like, dude, this is a white one, it's a destroyer. It's kind of stubby, so I don't really know if I want this design. We don't know if it's an S-Class or not. You can, if you want to, defeat the pirates and land on the freighter to see what it is. I don't like this design, so I'm like, you know what? I don't like this design. I'm gonna try to go to a system that has a better looking freighter. So all you have to do is reload your autosave. Remember, we got in and out on the space station. So there you are, we reload again. And now let's go to a different system because we know that system will have that white destroyer freighter right there. But if we wanted to, let's go to a different one and let's see, that pirate system has that white freighter on it. Let's see what this one does. This one's a, a, a Viking pow, a pirate system and you do not have to go to a pirate system. You can go to any system you want that has a race in it, but it has to have a race in it and it just has to, you do it, have to play for three hours, warp five times before this happens. So here it comes. Now we're in a battle again. Oh, we kind of loaded in on a weird side of this thing. I can't even tell which, I think this is the freighter right here. Yeah, this is the warning and you can tell which freighter is doing the warning and it'll have the red lights coming out of the, uh, out of the uh, landing pad. Oh, this is another destroyer, but this one is red, not white. And you'll see, this is the freighter that you're gonna be able to pick because it has the red light coming out of it. When you save it, it'll turn into a blue, bluish white light. Again, though, we don't like this one. This is kind of a stubby one, right? So we can reload the autosave. And you can just keep doing this over and over until you find that beautiful design. Like, whatever one you want, you can go and get that one. So in this one, let's go to a different system. I'll show you that there are different, they change the color, they'll change the size of the freighter. The design sometimes it'll be a sentinel sometimes it'll be a, a destroyer like that so let's go see if we can get a different design maybe we'll get a sentinel from uh, this one right down here so this is a normal system you don't have to go to a pirate one let's go to this one now again 
They, it is a two-star system. If you want to get a higher class freighter, you want an S class or an A class, you want to go for a higher end economy. You want to go for a three star economy because it has a higher chance, not a guarantee, but it has a higher chance of being an S class or an A class. Okay, look at this one. Okay, this is a destroyer. Let's see what this one looks like. It's a white destroyer. That's awesome, okay. So you, let's just say I want this one. This is my good one. I love this design. Then you, all you have to do is save it. Do not shoot the freighter. If you shoot the freighter, they will get pissed off and they will try to attack you. They'll think you're a pirate. All you have to do is go land on the space station and they will calm down. But you don't want to do that. It's kind of a wasting time kind of effort. You don't want to. If you do, don't worry about it. It's not the end of the world. Go land on the freighter, then come back out. Because then they'll forget. They're like, oh, no, this guy, was he the same ship? No, 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 it's okay. So you'll, they'll think you're a different ship if you land on the, fra on the space station and come back out. Get out of here. But when you land on the, fra the space station... There you go. See, I shot the freighter. And so they think I'm a pirate now. They're like, oh, no, he's a bad guy, right? So what we need to do is we need to find the space station. Where are you at, space station? There you are. It's a pain, it's a pain in the butt, you guys. This is why you don't want to shoot the freighter. We shot the freighter. Sentinel, they called for the Sentinels to come get us because they think we came in and we're pirates too. So let's go over here to the space station. God. All right, now I want to tell you this before we even get in here. Do not get out of your starship. Do not get out. Just land and then take back off. If you get out, it'll create a save and you will be locked into this freighter. You won't be able to reload your save from previously so you can go to different systems and get a different freighter. If you get out, you will lock yourself in and you won't be able to, to go to a different system and get a different freighter. You'll have to start the whole process over again and you'll have to go over and uh, save, you know, play for three hours, warp five times again, all over again. So do not get out, do what I did. Go in there, land, come back out. And now we have to kill that one last freighter or one, not, not the freighter, don't kill the freighter. Kill the pilot or pirate and save him. Come on, where's that pilot pirate at? Is he not coming, not coming out? Come on, where are you, buddy? Yep, he's over here somewhere. Where is he? There he is. Why is he over here? Oh, was he following me? I think he was trying to follow me to the space station. All right, and remember, you can you can point out the pirates by their red or pinkish trail. You want to shoot the red ones. You don't want to shoot the green ones. The green ones are your friends. The golden trails are your uh, are your squad as well. So don't do that. And now they totally forgot that I shot him earlier. He's totally fine. And so you're like, okay, now let's land on the freighter and see what we have. This is the design I want, but I don't know if it's the class I want. You won't know until you land, but don't worry about it. This will not save your progress. So you don't create a, look at no auto save created there. There's no restore point. So you're totally good to go on that. Pull out your visor and look at the uh, deck. So you can see this freighter over on the left-hand side. It is an A-class, 34 slots in the general and nine in the tech. That zero is the cargo. Freighters do not have cargo. They'll always be a zero. But it also, look at the price on it. You need 142,500,000 in order to buy this. Again, make sure you have the money. Make sure you brought cash with you. You need 142 million for this one. And then if it's like, hey, I want an S-Class, I don't like this one, all you have to do is reload your autosave again. So you just, this is, this is a long, long, long process, you guys. So you're going to be reloading your save a lot. Once you have it locked in, like, look, we're at the, we're at the space station again. Get back in our, uh, in our ship. Let's fly out. And we're just going to keep doing this process over and over. And you could be doing this for a long time long time until you find like the one you want the s class especially the s class is the hardest one to find you're looking for a system that is a three star system because they will give you the highest chance now you can find an s class 
in a two or a one star system. If you have a really bad economy system, you can find one there. The, the issue is it is so rare that you'll be here for eight, nine, ten hours just reloading over and over and over again. But if you're looking for that special freighter and you find it and you really want a nest class, that's what you're going to have to do. There we go. We have another one. This one's a uh, another destroyer. Okay. But yeah. And so you just keep doing that over and over and just keep your a memo of which system has which freighter. Because you have to just keep going to that same system over and over. Like if I want this one right here, this orange one, this orange destroyer, I have to keep coming back to this specific system over and over again. And every single time I come back, it'll change the class. Most times it'll be A, most times it'll be B, it'll be A, B, or a C class. And you just have to keep reloading over and over and over. And then once you save it, you can buy it from the uh, captain and you'll be good to go. So let me show you that when we get this done. All right, we took out all the, uh, the pirates that were attacking. So now we have to land on it again. And remember, it's always going to be the uh, freighter that has either the red light when they're under attack or this bluish white one when they're saved. So, yeah, we got all, all of our stuff. We're good to go again. It does not create an auto save when you land. I love that. I love that it doesn't create an auto save. That way you can just reload your last one and you're good to go on that. And let's look around. This is a C class 26 million. So. If this is the freighter you want, like if this is the S class or whatever you want, run up here to the captain's area, the bridge, and you'll be able to buy it from them. So whatever class you want, like if I it really in, re, in uh, reality, I would not buy this one. It's a C class. But again, if you don't have enough money, you won't be able to buy it. Let me grab this one. Let me go. Gratitude. Dun, dun, dun. Inspect the freighter. You want to inspect it. That way you can see if you really want it. So this is what it looks like. Very cool looking one. It's C class, 26 million. Just like when we when we got out of our ship, we were able to look through our visor. That one was eh. It's it's one of those things where that's what it all has. Compare it. Now we can compare it to my current freighter. This is the one I have right now. It's worth 31 million. So I can exchange it for free. They don't even give you any money back. So mine is worth 31. This one is worth 26. It will only take off the difference. So if mine was only worth like 16 million, it would only take the 16 off of that 26 million. And I would still have to pay 10 million in order to buy this one. You can only have one freighter at a time. So that's what you would be stuck with if you wanted to trade it right now. But again, if you get up here and you're like, I don't like this one at all. Reload your auto save. Reload your auto save until you get that one special freighter you like. I've, I've uh, on my main save, I think I played for about eight hours straight, reloading over and over to get the design I wanted and the class I wanted. So hopefully this guide helps you guys out. If you're looking for that special freighter, there you go. Hopefully this helped you out. If, you did, if it did, hit that like button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time.